Alex Romsley and welcome to another episode of the week that was up here in the broadcast position at the Hat Parker Arena. This is our vantage point for all the Kings action here in Power throughout the course of the regular season and of course all the playoff games. And since the Kings secured playoffs a few weekends ago against the Victoria Grizzlies, it's been all about positioning for the Kings. And this weekend, the three games over the last set of seven was all about positioning in the Coastal Conference, trying to find that home ice advantage. Games against the Cowichan Valley Capitals on Friday, and then back here Saturday and Sunday for a doubleheader against the first place Surrey Eagles. Those games went a long way and will stand up as going a long way to finding out who finishes first, second, third, and fourth in the Coastal Conference and deciding our first round matchups. So we'll start in Cowichan on Friday night. The Capitals, a team the Kings had beaten the previous six meetings. And on Friday, it was the final game of the season series. Wins the draw back and Shula takes it. Dalrymple's on the blue line. Shula walking off the wall, drop pass back to 27. At the blue line, played it back down low to Yutzi. Now Yutzi swapping with Dalrymple, scores! John Yetzi with a screen in front, slapping one home from the blue line. It is a power play goal. And the Kings take the lead here midway through this middle frame. Now down the left wing, Robat stops on the blue line, trying to play it in. Come off the uh, glass in the end boards and fell nicely for Dalrymple. Behind the net. Caps still have it, still four on for his shot, scores! Caps are on the board. The Caps are on the board, it is a four on four goal. Just a wrist shot down low from Brett Knowles. On the uh, first goal as Williams gets a shot, and that scores! It's in the back of the net. As the Kings now, the goals are flying furious here in the second period. Chris Williams, I believe, the one to put it home. He's leading the rush down the uh, bench. And the Kings, just like that, a couple of four on four goals, they retake the lead. It is two to one here. Potentially for the Caps, they'll start it, took a deflection off the skate of Logan Prue. And Steve Schmidt will take it behind his own net, and I think that's where it'll stay. Although Caleb Bruce has other ideas as he knocks the puck loose right in front. McGuire still scrambling, scores! Oh, it's right at the end of the period. A bad giveaway behind the net as Schmidt flushed out. Give Logan Prue a whole ton of credit. He took the puck away from Steven Schmidt. And with .2 of a second left in this second period, the Caps have tied it at two. As the Caps win the draw. Shabinin from his own end. Now at the red line, just chips it ahead, hits a king. Falls nicely for the Caps though. Shot from a bad angle, scores! The shot I think cannoned off the top of Sean McGuire's pad and in behind him. The Caps take their first lead of the game. The score, three to two. Matt Brown might be the one to take credit. It's Brown's 32nd goal of the season and the Caps have a three, two lead. So the seventh win of the season against the Capitals wasn't meant to be. John Yancey and Chris Williams, the lone goal scorers for the Kings. Sean McGuire making 26 saves in the game. But the Caps came away with a third period game winning goal and won the game three to two. Now it was a quick turnaround for the Kings as they came back here to Powell River on Saturday for a game that night against the Surrey Eagles. It was leg one of a double header against the Surrey side and they came out hitting hard in this one. Plenty of emotion here at the HAP on Saturday night. Eagles coming down the uh, right wing now, right in front of the Kings bench is Koshay. Cuts to the middle, Steve Koshay, high slot, gets it knocked off his stick there by Williams, fell to the Eagles anyway, loose puck scores! Right in front, Stenison on the rebound, found a loose puck sitting right in front of Sean McGuire. Stanison knocks it home, it's his 12th of the season. Eagles double the lead on the power play, it's two to nothing. Uh, but that's what McGuire wants back as he let a rebound out that he should not have done. Burns takes the puck away from the draw. So it's gonna be a power play goal, Stanison's 12th of the season. And it makes it a, a two nothing game and the Kings come straight back as Shula gets the team on the board. Finds a loose puck in the corner. Walked out to just below the faceoff dot and fired it up high, top near side. It's Daniel Shuler's 16th of the year, and the Kings are on the board. It's two to one. So it comes down the length of the ice as Devon Taves will get back there first. Villeneuve gives him a shot. Now a loose puck out in front. Found McDonald spinning, firing, scores! Kings are level. Brandon McDonald scores a weird one. Just spinning, backhanding it into the middle. 
somehow took a deflection, snuck past Andrew Hunt. Richardson got around Hagen, face off dot, dangling into the slot, the shot through the blue paint, couldn't pull the trigger on one as Hunt was flopping all over the place. Comes back to the point, Smith, long wrist shot, loose puck, and the blue paint scores! <laughs> Kings bat at home as Brandon Smith's point shot, I think got under the arm of Andrew Hunt. To uh, try and slow this down, give his players a rest, the Kings in full control of this game is now Koshik. Gets uh, taken away through the middle, and here come the Kings. Matt Scarth, two on one, the shot, scores! Scarth steals at center, skates in, and unloads a laser beam of a wrist shot past Andrew Hunt. It's Scarth's 19th goal of the season. His hot hand continues, Kings double the lead. It is now four to two. Daniel Shula and Brendan McDonald scoring in that second period, and then Evan Richardson and Matt Scarth in the third for the big 4-2 win over the Surrey Eagles. Sean Maguire in the net again for the Power of the Kings made 21 saves. Now on Sunday afternoon, it was time for the matinee affair against the Eagles. The tone had been set in the previous game that this was going to be a tough game to win for both sides. It was another fantastic, huge crowd at the half on a Sunday afternoon. It was Fan Appreciation Day. Here comes Steel Burns down the right wing. He's got Warren Richardson with him. Burns still on the shot. Scores! Teal Burns taking inside his own zone, skating down the right wing, and then wristing one past Andrew Hunt, who got a piece of it, but not enough. A little under four minutes into this game, Kings have the first goal. It's Teal Burns six, and they lead one to nothing. Couldn't control it, and then Williams lays a good hit there on Trevor Cameron, but the Eagles still have it. Lindoris trying to step around Shuler, gets it there. Now centering dish in front for Stenison, and he scores. Stenison on the overlap was the man in front. He got the pass down low and was able to tip it in front. It's his second goal of the weekend. Stenison's 13th of the season. The Eagles, within a minute, come back. It is 1-1. There's up the left wing now, Alex Hagen. Trying to cut to the middle, got knocked off the puck. Uh, Eagles two on one. McGovern the shot, bouncing puck right in front of Maguire, spinning, firing, has it, scores! Oh, it's in, the referee, it was cleared immediately. The Kings might argue this one. The referee pointing to the back of the net, it's in. So a little over three minutes gone in the second period. Kings still have time to work on the man advantage. A minute 14 as Yatsi and Darrop will give and go on their own blue line. Now ahead for Teal Burns through the middle. Richardson trying to battle there. Does Koshe in the middle. Shot scores! Oh, what hands, what perseverance from Evan Richardson. Feeding it over a Tegan Wah, burying it in front of the open net as Andrew Hunt was down trying to poke check. Tegan Wah scores his 21st of the season. And the Kings on the power play tie it up at two. Back down low, give and go, Stenison at the half wall to the point. Taves quickly over Koshe in front of the Kings bench. Slap pass down low, vacant scores! That's by design as Steve Koshe with a slap pass down low. Maguire sliding across, couldn't get much of it as the Eagles roof it. Tyler Morley, I think the one to bury at home. He gives the Eagles the lead as the Eagles here scoring uh, early as Hunt well out of his crease in the middle. Burns! Oh, how did he miss that? Now scores! Andrew Hunt finally feels the wrath of his uh, style of goaltending here this weekend as he was well out of position fighting for a puck. The Kings come right back and tie this one up at three. John Yutzi crosses the blue line, flicks to the outside for Steven Schmidt. Into the middle it goes, Cohen Adair, the shot scores! Adair's shot I think was blocked and cannoned off Steven Schmidt and into the back of the net. It's a power play goal. The Kings have their second lead of the game. It's 4-3. Four th four no, it is Brandon Smith, excuse me. The Eagles have it back to the point. The shot hits some bodies and the Kings have it. And they'll skate it down the ice. Five seconds left. Adair trying to get the empty net. Shot scores! Cohen Adair on an empty net goal with 1.7 seconds left. Ices the game and the weekend for the Kings. They'll stay away with this one. They lead right now 5-3. to three. Teal Burns, Tegan Wah, Evan Richardson, Steven Schmidt, and then Cohen Adair scoring an empty net goal right at the end of the third period, iced the victory. Sean Maguire was again in the Kings net, stopping 24 shots on route to his 16th victory of the season. Now, aside from the huge four points over the weekend, the biggest thing the Kings won might be control of their own destiny in terms of where they'll finish in the Coastal Conference. Their three games coming up this weekend will be huge in that, 
but they do control their own fate in terms of where they finish. Now here is how it all breaks down. The Surrey Eagles have one game remaining in the 2011-2012 season. That comes up this Friday night in Surrey against the Westside Warriors. If the Eagles win that game, they'll finish the season on 83 points and with 37 wins. The Kings must then get at least five of six points on the road this weekend to tie the Eagles in points and the Kings do win the first tiebreaker and that is number of wins. Now, if the Eagles tie or lose in overtime to the Westside Warriors, they finish on 82 points with 36 wins. The Kings then must get four of six points on the road to tie. Of course, Moore will win first place outright. If the Eagles lose, the Kings requiring three of six points this weekend to tie the Eagles as they'll finish on 81 points with 36 wins. And that segues perfectly into the schedule for this weekend as the Kings wrap up the 2011-2012 regular season on the island Friday night against the Nanaimo Clippers at the Frank Crane Arena. It's a 7 o'clock start. Saturday night in Victoria, the Bear Mountain Arena, a 7.15 start against the Victoria Grizzlies. And then wrapping up the schedule, a Sunday afternoon, 3 p.m. against the Nanaimo Clippers back at the Frank Crane Arena. They're all games you can hear live on 95.7 Sun FM, beginning with the pregame show, starting 15 minutes prior to opening face-off. And we'll have highlights from all of those games next week here on The Week That Was, as well as all the news and interviews from the King's Kingdom during the last set of seven. From our broadcast position here at the Half Parker Arena, I'm Alex Rollins.